Did the Eagles make the right decision in releasing Josh Huff? Ruben Frank, what do you think? I don't think so. I, I think um, especially after Nigel Bradham had two incidents that seemingly similar degree uh, and it was no discipline at all. So I, I'm really confused, especially after Doug came out yesterday and said he's going to play, he's going to practice. Uh, I'm, I'm a father figure of these guys and, and all that. So there's just a lot of uh, a lot of things I don't understand about the whole picture here. And uh, frankly, I don't think this was serious enough to and listen, it's a serious incident, uh, but uh, I don't think you cut a guy over this. David, Howie said that there was a distinction between there Huff distinction. and Bradham, which is? Well, what Nigel Bradham did was leave a gun in his backpack at an airport, a registered gun with a permit. What Josh Huff did was a DUI, was a speeding, which is not, mm -hmm. and then a, uh, an unregistered gun in the state of New Jersey. And th there is a significant difference. Nigel also had there, another incident over the there's summer. There's a significant, and, and so your phrase is that I seemingly don't understand. Well, the Eagles have done their homework to find out the facts, not the newspaper reports, but the facts. Well, wait a minute. And but so what, they're comfortable with the decision that they made investigating what really happened. Yesterday, they had the police report yesterday. But there's more to it than the police report. Really? It's talking to individuals. It's talking as a group. It's getting Jeffrey Lurie involved. How he was asked if Josh Huff's remarks yesterday in front of his locker had anything to do with it, and he kind of just blew that off. How much do you think that I affected? Don't, I don't think that affected it. I think the Eagles looked at this incident. It's a bad look. And fa and fa and it's a bad look when the head. Who? It's who? a bad look when the head coach stands up there on Wednesday no. and said he's part of the family. Right. He's going to play against the Giants Sunday. He's going to practice tomorrow. Right. And he also said there could be fines, there could be suspensions, there could be anything of that nature. But again, until we gather all the information, we just don't know what's going to happen. Okay, yeah, but well, so they I, gathered all the information sure. and then they made the decision. Uh, absolutely, and I'm on board with the, that decision. But I'm wondering why it couldn't have made uh, been made a day earlier. Doug Peterson why, does why? not look good here because Dude. if if you're just looking at it from the outside looking in, which is 99.9 .9 of us, he was just completely hung out to dry. Well, I, you yeah. could have made the decision. Well, I, can't, I guess we we can't control what the outside world thinks. Okay, and that's that's perfectly. But fine. why couldn't this have been made yesterday? Because they didn't have all the information. They, they had they the police gather. report yesterday. But Michael, there's more to it than that. There's investigating. There's then, talking then to the Doug people. Doug shouldn't there's have stood up there and said he's going to play Sunday. He that, said that, uh, he right. said as of he said as of right now. Read it again. Yes, I do. You're not understanding. He's going to play Sunday until I find. Find out exactly the severity of it and what's going to happen down the road. Well, he right now have, nothing. They put we'll him take in a position, it one day at a time. They mm -hmm. put him in a position where he looks bad. I, not internally. Well, you work bad. for the team, so of course he doesn't look it, bad. It, all, so, all that matters is that he looks that the, that the team supports Doug well, and, and the Howie and, and Don. And the team's and, not real happy, Dave. Well, listen, mm -hmm. the players respect Doug's decision. He's the head coach, and Jeffrey's the owner, and Howie's the and executive vice president. And if they felt otherwise, would, you, would you share that with people? If I knew the facts, which I do more than you, apparently, because you're talking well, no, about seemingly, I, I you're actually speculating. Talk to players. I talked to pe players, yeah, too. And, players and they're sad. Not happy. They're, they're not sad, happy, Dave. They're sad to see a player leave, no, Ruben. They're not happy. They're not happy at what? What appears to be a double standard in the way discipline's being handed out. I don't believe that. Well, I talked to players in the locker room. All right, hang on. Let's hear from the players, some of whom Ruben Frank talked to, some of whom perhaps not. Here are the Eagles players on the release of Josh Huff. He kind of broke the news to us. Um, but, you know, you can tell that he, he understands um, that he made a mistake and, you know, not much was really, really said. What did you say to him? Just keep your head up, man. Um, stay played up. You know, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. So what exactly can you say to a guy who was, you know, already at his lowest and then he gets cut? There's not too much that you can say to him, but try and be uplifting and, you know, tell him to stay grounded and, you know, just know that brighter days are ahead. It's just a wake-up call for all of us. I mean, we always going to be there for each other. we always going to be there for Huff. I mean, bless his family and everything that he's going through. And uh, we just know, like, in our receiver room, it's a wake-up call for everybody on the team, not just for him or anything. You know, uh, it sends a message to everybody. And we know that, like, everybody got to stay on, on their game. You know, we got to come up here and do the right things. How was he this morning? I mean, he was hurt. He was hurt, obviously. Um, when I came to see him, he was crying. Uh, I mean, the guy knows that he made a mistake. Uh, you know, and then, you know, he loses his job. So, uh, you know, how do you think he felt? And it's unfortunate for Josh Huff. If this is Jordan Matthews, if this is Malcolm Jenkins, if this is Fletcher Cox, is is the end result similar? 
Is it the same? You're, I'm, not in, I'm not interested in speculating. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, uh, hang on. I have someone who is right next to you. What do you think? It's a good question. Nigel Bradham's a pretty good linebacker. Josh Huff is really not produced as a wide receiver. Ruben, they're two different cases, no. though. They're, they're, they're two different cases. But in fact, Ruben, they, they are, are two, two different, different cases. There is. Two Nigel Bradham was cases. not arrested. They're, they are certainly different, but they are similar enough that I think there's a parallel here. <laughs> but but it's from a legal standpoint, they are tremendously different. Of course, from a legal standpoint. Listen, tremendously I'm not a lawyer. Different. Uh, I don't know, you know, the, the I don't know the details of, of the um, number of you know, years that Josh would face compared to if, if Nigel was, you know, and there's so many factors that go into this, but there's multiple incidents right, with Nigel. Right, and the, right? There, there are two, multiple two factors. Incidents. There are many factors that go into it, and the Eagles have spent the last 48 hours learning about those factors, well, listen, finding out know, about those factors, right, not I'm speculating about right, those but, factors. But, but, this but you have to, I think you have to call your head coach aside, especially, I don't know what the two of you think about what happens in the rest of the NFL, whether or not once the roster is made, it's the head coach's deal, coaching that roster, if someone's got to get cut, I don't know if it goes to the vice president of operations or not, but a lot of people, a lot of teams, it's the coach's decision, and the coach made his statement and then was undercut seemingly by the decision that came down today. Well, and I know if you read, if you split hairs, you're right. He did couch it. I don't know if I would say it was plausibly deniable, though, Dave. It, looks bad, Dave. Dave. it, 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 it just looks doesn't bad. look. It, it, well, it, the the opinion, says and they I respect say, your I think opinion. That's, that's everybody's opinion, I mean, that I've talked to. It just looks bad. Now, no, not, not, the, the poll says 61%. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's, that's a that's separate. Not the poll is separate. Yeah. That's a, whether people agree with releasing him. But the, the, my, my point is that Nigel Bradham brought first that he was charged with assault at a you know, and in that case is pending. And then he was there brought, open, there brought a gun through security at the airport. But a registered okay. gun in his back through security at the airport. Okay. Uh, right. Made a made a dumb mistake. And, and Josh a dumb made mistake. A, Josh do you, made do you a have dumb an issue mistake. with that? Do you have an issue that it's a professional football team? Certain things you put up with, and certain things you don't put up with. I quote, I, I quoted Shashevsky yesterday. I'll treat everybody fairly. I won't treat everybody yeah. equally. Um, do you buy that or not? Well, I, I, listen. I mean, Josh I, Huff was averaging five and a half yards per catch. Nigel Bradham's in there. Josh Huff is a big part of this team. Josh Huff is a big kickoff return man in an offense that has was. not been not been a consistent explosive offense. Has been a productive part of it. It hurts everyone. It hurts five the and a half yards. It hurts per the catch. Eagles. It hurts the Eagles. Are you kidding me? Can I, can I finish the sentence? Fourteen yards per game can I in his career. Here? Can, mm -hmm. I, can I finish the sentence? Here? Mm -hmm. And this is a kid who's who's big kickoff return on on Monday night. T touchdown uh, two weeks ago against mm -hmm. the Minnesota Vikings to turn the game around. Uh, not a, a, a starting caliber on this team. Wide receiver, not good enough to be a, a star. We understand that as a wide receiver, but a valuable part of the team. All right. You know what? Let me show you. The, uh, Booney put this up. Dan Roach, our producer, put the, the uh, NFL's policy on carrying guns uh, for players. Uh, quote, this is part of it. In some circumstances, such as for sport or protection, you may legally possess a firearm or other weapon. However, we strongly recommend that you not do so. Any weapon, particularly a firearm, is dangerous, especially so when it is in a vehicle or within reach of children and others not properly trained in its use. That is airport. the NFL gun policy excerpt. And, and to me, they're, they're saying, no, it's, you know, you all have Second Amendment rights. You all have a right to carry the gun, but you better do it leg legally. You better know how it's, it's supposed to be carried how it's supposed to be registered, in what states it needs to be registered, and he transgressed on those parts, and and he paid for it with his We're job. also kind of overlooking, unfortunately, the DUI part of this, mm -hmm. and that is also illegal. Right, So You're right. Um, there, there, this is a different, significantly different case there, there's, there's than no, Nigel Bradley. There's no question, I'm, I'm not condoning what he did. I think, what, I think they, Doug should have suspended him as soon as it happened, as soon as it was announced, as soon as we knew. I mean, what we saw in the police report, just based on that, he should have been suspended. Yeah. And then Doug should have stood up there and say, anything beyond that, we'll see. Right. Not Nigel Bradham had a DUI I mean, look, earlier in, in, in his career, this, too, by in, the way. In this yeah, instance, not here, but in, yes. Yeah. I think in this instance, the Eagles made the decision. Josh Huff has not played a game since the incident. He will not play a game since the incident. It took time for them to gather all of their since. facts. All right, let me stop. So, but you wanted it to happen immediately, Ruben. Immediately. And the Eagles wanted Doug to... Doug should have taken command of the situation and said, listen, this is very serious. He did he say it was very serious. He suspended. He should have... Remember when, when Big Red suspended uh, Daryl Crutchfield and Terrence Carroll and Carroll Buckhalter? He kicked he, those... He kicked two of them off the team. Immediately. And kept Carroll Immediately. Took, Deshaun was... I don't know if it was the same day, Ruben. Deshaun... I don't know if it was the same, hey, same day. Deshaun Jackson was 10 minutes late for a meeting. 
thing. You suspended them for a game. Look at these results, because I find them interesting in that the 55% say yes, the Eagles made the right decision.